Hi, I'm Tianli, and this is my final project. The game that I chose to show today is the Elder Scroll V Skyrim. I've been playing it for like five months, and it seems never end. Okay, so this is my character, a Red God Warrior, level 42. The sword I'm carrying, you may notice, comes from the Great Lich King of Warcraft, Arsas. In order to be more engaged into the game, I chose to play a version that has been fully translated into Chinese. That means not only the menu, but also the plots, the conversation, even the contents of the books has been translated. Amazingly, all those things are done by voluntary players. The translation team is from on Skyrim discussion boards in, in China, and they release version after version until they have a version that they call a fully translation. Now I decide to get rid of my follower, an annoying wizard that I met I in B and Barb. He complains way too much. But before that, I would like to take back all the armors and weapons that belong to me. Okay, here you go. Lead on. If my cleaning gets in your way, just say the word and I'll be Well, on. there sits a I gorgeous do? young half naked girl. I have to admit, she is the real reason it's for changing day. follower. She way. looks like coming from wow. a Japanese comic or a South Korean online game than any places in Skyrim. Skyrim. Actually, she has never existed in the palace of Dragon Reach what until last mean? night I downloaded a modification. Uh, MLD from SkyrimNexus.com Skyrim holds a database that is comparatively open source and can be accessed by all the players. Such openness makes this great role-playing game even greater. The Skyrim mods are not simply a change of graphics but are entirely new characters like my follower like this girl or new weapons like my sword. They can even be new textures, storylines and game modes. The modifications enhance the gameplay of Skyrim into an unlimited level, and I think it is a wise choice for the developers to extend the popularity of this game. Well, I have now changed the Frost Mother into a single-handed one that I have imposed more skill points, and I have equipped my new pal with a bow, some arrows, and some light armors. Let's get going. During this video clip, I'm going to complete a simple quest and then set some fire in the city. Taking a shortcut, I'm going to the nearest place, Jorosca, and let's see if I can find some work to do. I've been tending to the warriors of your Vasker for as long as I can remember. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. The Jarl of Whiterun has asked for our help. It seems that predators have taken up residence. Someone's got to head out there and take care of the beasts. Good. I knew that we could count on you. It's simply a beast, but be cautious. The beasts of Kill a beast. Such a simple but classical one. Though I'm always wondering why the companions always ask me to repeat the same quest I've been done times after times. Maybe this is what work is about. I have not discovered the valley that needs help, but I will surely not spend hours to go there. Let's use the instant traveling to go to the nearest place I have been to. Riding is another thing I like about this game even though it is somewhat like a bonus that of no great value and the artificial intelligence of the horse is really a problem. I still enjoy the rhythm of riding presented in the game because it can actually engage myself into the virtual world that my character is wandering at. Well, there we can see two mammoths. They are not the creatures we can see quite often, and they are always accompanied by giants. 
Let's make sure we are on the right direction. I don't want to get in trouble with them. Uh oh, you may also hear that. The dragon is roaring. Time to face some trouble, buddy. Jeez, where's the lady I just hired? Ah, oh, never forget to use the dragon shell as a dragon ball. I guess I'm lucky today. It's a blood dragon and it takes me only seconds to kill it. Let's get going again. Just a few steps away from my destination and it takes me almost no time to kill the beast and finish the quest. I did receive a simple quest. Grab everything I can find. The fur is quite useful for blacksmiths like myself. Let's go back to the winter run. As you can see, all the tips on loading page have also been translated. Going back to Dravoska to return my quest and get my reward. I spent 5 minutes in reality before my laptop and I traveled hundreds of miles away killed a dragon, a tiger and a wolf, and came back as a hero in the same amount of time in another reality in Skyrim. Do you have guidance? Good to hear. Have your share. Until next time. Having my reward of 300 gold, I asked for a new job. But I was told to simply repeat the same thing I did just now. To find, to kill, to get the reward. So I'm thinking, why not just going out, hang around the city and see if I can do something else. It is quite strange to see an empty street like this in the middle of the day. What is fascinating about this game is that the Skyrim gives you a real sense of the flow of time. The differences of day and night are no longer simply the differences of appearances, but something that may affect the NPCs you interact with and therefore lead to a personal and unique experiences of the game. This, I think, is an important aspect of engagement. It seems that I'm not able to practice my smithing at dusk of a day, so I decided to try to be one of the five archetypes of MMORPG players, the killers. Let's see what would happen if I bring a massacre to the winter one. Hunting stars, Dragonborn. I work with my mother. Did you know there's some fruits? You'd be surprised how much work is selling things in small. It's not all standing around and chatting. My favorite drink. Oh, I'm sorry to start from the weak. In the original version of Skyrim, players are not allowed to attack children in the game. But I have implied a modification that allow me to do so. The only guard stands out and starts fighting back. However, he is too weak to defeat a Dragon Ball. When the last witness has been killed in the region, the player will be innocent again until what do you need, my friend? until a new crime is made. Don't even try not to set anything on fire, all right? Now all the civilians start running 
while I pissed off the entire city. I changed my dragon shout from Tom Stopping to the one that is more suitable for combating more than one enemy. Hmm, there are the guards. With the help of my follower, I am able to fight against three guards at the same time. The physics engine of Skyrim makes the feeling of in-game hitting and defending very real, and the slow motion function strongly enhanced the element of action combat in the game. Now I'm rushing to the palace of Dragon Reach, the top of the city, and I swept away all the people that block my way. Here comes the final two guards that prevent me from getting the throne, and they are killed. However, there are some NPCs in Skyrim that cannot be killed. This is to ensure that the plot does not end at a certain stage. And I guess this is a good point to stop my journey.